Once you have started the Lego Mindstorms app on the desktop, it should bring you to this page. Before you can go any further, it's going to tell you that an update is available. Just go ahead and click OK, and we will update the software later. In order to create a new program, you have two options. You can either go up to the File menu and select New Project, and then choose the Program option, or more simpler way, press on the plus button. First thing I would do is save your file so that later you can just press save and not have to go through all these steps to save your program. You'll find that at the end of class, you're just gonna have the desire to just save the project and not save project as. But the first time you save this, you need to choose save project as. Go to this arrow next to this PC and make sure you choose your F drive. Notice at the end it has the F colon. That is where you should save all of your programs. If you don't, in this lab, your program could be deleted at the end of the day when the computers are shut down. That's an automatic feature. But if you save it to your name, then you won't have that problem because you'll be able to access this uh, program or these files from any computer in the school. So make sure you select your name and then choose your file name. I would type it as your name. I should probably write my name correctly the first time, but I'm trying to hold my phone while typing and I could not see the shift key. Okay, and go ahead and save it. Notice this is going to be my, be my file name. When I go to run my program on the robot, I will look for Derek S. Okay, now just to explain the software, your software runs just like a historical timeline. Starts on the left, works your way to the right. All of your programming bricks are down at the bottom. Now these blocks on the green tab, these run motors. So this is to run a single moving motor. This is double steering motor. This is a double tank motor. I'll explain that in a second. This is for the weird looking motor that you'll see here in a minute. And these are other options. You will use the sound uh, motor at a later date. The orange tab, these are the functions that allow us to wait or pause for another sensor to run or operate. This is a loop. For all of your programs, it'll be easier if you run the wait. The yellow tabs, the yellow tabs, this is for all of your sensors. While you can program your sensors using the yellow tab, it will work better if you use this wait command, and I will show you how in just a minute. 